so we are it is our it's vlog tober day three it actually is the fifth today but it's our vlog tober day three good job bless you look look up I don't want it to be hot. Be careful, Mia. We ain't got no wipes, no napkin, no nothing. Hold on. Yes, what up, uh, HR Squad? So, it's Vlogtober Day 3, our Vlogtober Day 3. And um, tomorrow, I celebrate seven years of running Mrs. and Mrs. It has been a journey. I started the platform six months into getting married. So to 616 and um, I started the platform 10 6 16 yeah so today's the fifth tomorrow is the sixth and I just decided to come down get me a cute little slice of cake and um, put us get a seven candle and it kind of is like this super cute and just take some pictures and take some um, you know, some images just so I can post tomorrow and say how grateful I am of the platform. We are about to hit 100K. I, I honestly cannot believe that um, it's been, like, we're about to hit 100K. That's so crazy to me. So I'm just super, super grateful. Um, you know, I've met a lot of people. I've done a lot of thing, things. I've accomplished a lot running the platform. I've learned a lot. And now I think I'm just ready. You know, I think um, for so long I have been, you know, I've had tunnel vision. Like, okay, let me just grow. Let me grow. Let me just focus on growing. Okay, let me focus on like the financials of it. Okay, let me focus on the team building. Okay, let me focus on the departments, the weddings, the retreats, the matchmaking. So um, I think once I hit 100K, to me, that's my own personal milestone of like an Instagram and social media accomplishment but then it's time to get to the nitty gritty the behind the scenes of things and i really just want you know the goal for me for mrs and mrs you know when i get to celebrate in 10 years of it i want the retreats to be like bigger than anyone can imagine the biggest lesbian retreat ever in the world you know um time to go international time to you know um increase the quantity of couples the wait list is like at 1300 i think and the dms and messages i get about that wait about the retreats is just mind-blowing to me um so the demand is very high matchmaking that was a huge thing since i started mrs and mrs i've had received dms i, I get dms and messages from people saying listen I get that y'all all booed up, but how do you get booed up? So that was a whole thing, and I tried different things with single fam, but I think the matchmaking and what I'm gonna do over there is gonna be incredible. And the weddings, the weddings, oh my God. I think that made sense. I've always wanted to be a wedding planner. I watched Wedding Planner with J-Lo 300,000 times. I've all, I grew up loving weddings. I love the idea of weddings. I love everything about weddings. And it made sense once Mrs. and Mrs. grew, and you know, a lot of the followers were in Engaged couples we get a lot of questions about tux and, and venues and certain things so I said you know what all of this makes sense you know this is not something that came out of my you know my eight this was like this all aligns with the brand Mrs. and Mrs. and I'm super grateful that I'm able to create other departments and grow um, I pray that I'm able to open headquarters and have a whole team under me and you know just continue to do the damn thing you feel me so, yep, tomorrow is the seventh year, and I thought that would be cute. So, Rita got some really, 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 really cute pictures, and, um, yes, so blessed. Entrepreneurship is not easy. There's so many things that, you know, you learn, and you constantly shift, and you constantly think it's a constant thing, but when you are an entrepreneur, and you are a mother, and you're a wife, it's like you're really nurturing multiple things and you know you you're navigating multiple things um even like my own self is like i am navigating a marriage that constantly shifts and changes with the times um and just trying to get it to remain healthy and and, and things like that and then motherhood 
you know, that's another beast of its own. I want to be a present mother, a happy mother, a healthy mother. So I have to all, I'm constantly figuring out how I balance, 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 balance. Like balance, 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 balance. Like how can I push out these um, email campaigns and, you know, read my baby a book and cook for my wife or watch a movie with her, you know, like it's just so love. But I think that's the whole, I mean, I'd rather have this life than any other one. I, I, I always wanted to be a mom, always wanted to be a wife, always wanted to be an entrepreneur. This is what I asked for. Um, and I think with those three things, also taking care of your own self. Like, um, you know, I had put all of those things before me and I ended up in the ER. So, so my health comes first, you know, my peace. Um, so I don't tolerate a lot of things. I don't tap into a lot of things. I put my wellness first. I read, I, you know, I do my digital detoxes sometimes. Like I just did one, needed to be off the gram, you know. You don't need to be on that thing all the time, you know, blogs and all types of things. You don't need to be, you don't need to consume that, you know, the news. Midtown Manhattan, that's where I'm at. That's where I live. Um, it's absolutely insane. Um, it has gotten so crazy over the past few months it's just getting worse and y'all know if y'all have followed us y'all know that we have been trying to move for years but you know the baby was like okay we can't move and be pregnant we can't move and have the baby you know it was just like a lot of things so but now more than ever we need to get the hell out of here so it's just a constant life you know life be life and life be life and honey it's gonna do what it do and um, I think that's why vlogging isn't consistent, but life is gonna have to life with the vlogs, okay, honey? Cause I'm gonna have to get into my YouTube bag the way I should should have a long time ago. Peace. Mia is like, the cutest, the smartest, the best, you know? Like, God gave her to me, I am not worthy. You know, that's how I feel, like I'm not worthy. She's super smart, super, 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 super smart. I mean, she's really like the embodiment of a Virgo. I, I didn't know much about Virgos besides Kiki Palmer and Beyonce, but you know, the older my baby get, the more I read up on Virgos, and she's a true Virgo. She's very, very intelligent. She's very um attentive, she's very like, they, they say Virgos are perfectionists and hard workers, and I could definitely see that in her. Like, she must learn something. You know, it's just, I mean, I would have a Virgo. Like, you know what I mean? No lie. I love being a Taurus, but if I wasn't a Taurus, I wouldn't mind being a Virgo. But I'm a Taurus, and I love being a Taurus. Ain't nothing, nothing better than a Taurus, baby. Um, yeah, if y'all haven't already, check out our vlog, Sober 1 and 2. Mia. <laughs> Mia, it's Kate. Uh, oh, no. Uh, she's getting into the phase of throwing things, honey. Oh, 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 oh. She is in the era of throwing things. And that is when I'm like, okay, do I, do I gentle parent? You feel me? See, the black mama in me. Oh, Mia. The black mama in me want to say. But the gentle parent in me. What is it, baby? Yeah. So that is about it, guys. I will. We will. You know, catch us on the next October. Our shorts are going crazy on YouTube, so show them some love. And yeah. Yay! Until next time. <laughs> Until next October. Huh? Where's number six? Where's number four? Where's number three?
West number seven. West number nine. West number two. Good job. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Spin, 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 spin. Hands up, hands down. Wiggle your fingers. Wiggle, 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 wiggle your body. Ooh, nice hand. Hello, Mia. Say hello. Bye bye. See you later. Bye bye. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God.